The Diary of Sebastian von Danningberg, the Luftwaffe's newest pilot. Twenty sixth of September, nineteen forty four. It was an early start today. We had received an urgent call for help from the troops on the front lines. Enemy ground attack aircraft have been spotted approaching their positions. Eight of us took off shortly after 8am, with the odds seemingly always against us. How many would return? Hi everyone, welcome back. We're just forming up now. Heading out to try and support the ground troops. Just keep an eye on the uh, flight lead, which is not the easiest thing in the world in this cockpit. There he is. I'm just trying to fly in formation. Slightly still hampered by the uh, lack of visibility <laughs> and the uh, cockpit. Where's he gone? Where is he gone? There he is. Okay, um, we have some contacts. Tally, we've got a flight on our altitude, but it looks like they've got escorts above. You can see there's a whole column of them. From the little cloud all the way up to the big cloud, and I've just uh, lost my flight lead for the moment. I'll stay down low. Where is he? There he is. Um, Okay, we'll stay low. It's falling out of formation. Okay, we're climbing up slowly, trying to get a little bit of altitude on the uh, the lower flight. They're all banking that way slightly. Let's stay with them, at least in parallel with them. Yeah, look at them. That's two flights of eight. We're outnumbered two to one straight away, which is always disconcerting, isn't it? Still with us. We still continue to climb up. I'm not sure what this we've got here. Around in? No. There you go, our flight. Um, and is this the top flight coming down, descending upon us? Could well be. There's Spitfires. Okay, so I think that was Spitfires escorting Typhoons. And look, there's just an absolute verbal once again. Aircraft everywhere. Um, well, we've got the typhoons coming across us, so we'll have a shot. Oh! Oh, I've been hit, I've been hit. Spinning, spinning. He's still there. Continue to get out the way of his nose. Well, that couldn't have gone much worse. I was wounded and barely able to bring my aircraft home. Sadly, I was one of the lucky ones, as two aircraft failed to return, and two others were wounded. I would spend the next few days in bed to recover, and I was awarded the wound badge in black.
2nd of October 1944. Some positive news. I was fit to fly and the Allied Air Forces had retreated from positions around Arnhem which hopefully would see the end to our flights being heavily outnumbered. Today we had been given a free hunt. We were to search for and destroy any enemy aircraft we encounter en route. The weather will be closed, heavy clouds at 1900 meters, drizzling rain and a southeast wind varying from 4 to 8 meters per second. Despite the overcast weather, I felt more positive. It finally felt that we had a chance on an even playing field. Hi everyone, right. Okay, here we are again. This time on a free hunt and we are wingman number eight, so we're at the bottom of the uh, the line this time. As you can see, heavy clouds, which will be fun. You know how much I love flying through clouds. After our injuries, we are now back up in the cockpit, feeling good. But obviously slightly um, nervous, dicing with death far too many times. But with the failure of Operation Market Garden and the well, the bulk of the Allied Air Force is moving away from Arnhem, perhaps now we will get a chance. Oh, everyone's moving. What have they seen that I have not? They're going to stay below the clouds, so I'm guessing they may have seen something above the clouds. So let me go high. I'll try and keep them in, in sight, although I've lost them already. Coming <laughs> through the cloud now. Thing here. Okay, we've got a couple of aircraft dicing ahead. I've dropped below the clouds again. P fifty one. Okay, we've got Mustangs, one of our other wingmen have just finished that one off. He's going down. Now, managed to get onto the tail of one, coming through the clouds. Let's try and sidle up to him. Oh, we've seen us, and he's climbing. We're going to follow him over, Blue. Trying not to stall and we'll follow him down, keep the momentum. He's heading into the cloud. I don't want to run into his tail, so we'll pull up. I have no idea where he is now. Let's drop below the cloud, see if we can find him. I don't see him. Plenty of aircraft down here though. Oh, 
or aircraft coming out of the clouds. Dazzled by the sun. Coming around, following these aircraft around, or hopefully they don't nip back into the cloud. Don't have much luck when it comes to these clouds. Aircraft everywhere. Oh, that's a lightning. Oh, we've got lightnings here as well. So we've got a flight of lightnings. Flight of P-51 must Mustangs. We're probably outnumbered again. Coming through the cloud, rolling on. I think this is an enemy aircraft. Tail is clear. So paranoid now. It's like another Mustang seen me. Got him. else fell off. Oh, is that him going down? He just pitched nose down then. Okay, coming around, more aircraft just oh, coming into the cloud. Popping out of the cloud, going into the cloud, coming out of the cloud. <laughs> that is a bit. Uh, uh, sorry, a tempest. That is a tempest. just darted into the cloud again. So we've got lightnings, mustangs, tempests. How many aircraft are up here for heaven's sake? Um, I can't see any aircraft trailing in the gaps in the clouds. He's probably making a run for it through the clouds. And I'm wondering how long do I keep tempting fate? I don't see him. I might take this opportunity to uh, head home. We're probably getting low on fuel now. But there are a few aircraft here, there, and everywhere. But the big furballs seem to have died down. There's a couple of aircraft over there. Yeah, but quite honestly, I'm thinking. That is a 190. So I think this is the 190s forming up, are they? I'm going to form up with this 190 anyway. And if he starts heading home, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to follow him all the way back. No, hang on. We've got something coming in. That looked like a Spitfire, to be honest. Could be wrong. Okay. 
We have made it back to base. Yes, we, there was indeed a couple of 190s that we formed up with and we flew back with. So it's all looking good. See, one over there. Um, one has just landed by the lake. You can see it. There it is. And a few more we've just flown in with. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to make plans to come in and land. So checking the windsock, wherever that is. Where the wind's going, so we're landing towards the, the lakes as always, and uh, started to rain again. Lovely. So let's get some flap in and start slowing this aircraft down. Okay. Lots of chit chat about landing on the radio. We're just now coming in a bit of a poor approach. We've got somebody just landed in front of us, so we're going to try and land on the far side of the runway just in case we overrun. I don't want to hit the back of them. Okay, and there we go. Ooh, bit of a bounce. Yeah, a couple of gentle bounces, we're down. Okay, we're going to stay on this edge of the runway, as I said. And as we hopped out of the cockpit and gave our accounts to the debriefing officers, I was awarded one more kill and two damage to my tally. After today's flight, I felt my confidence returning. Maybe we can live through this after all.